Okay, I'm going to show you how to install a new turbine from Maxdyne Handpiece Turbines. Company name is Diversified Dental and we manufacture the Maxdyne turbines. This is for a Midwest Tradition L power lever. Um, same basic principle for the XGT or the push button model of the Tradition. Uh, this is what you'll need, a couple cotton swabs, a dental explorer, and an end cap wrench. Ours might look a little different than what you have, but it'll have four prongs on it there. So you start by removing the old end cap. Make sure that uh, none of this old turbine stays in the end cap. That can be a problem if this bearing comes apart. And you want to remove that and you can a lot of times use the end of your cotton swab just to kind of push that out. Uh, usually on these traditions, this uh, the bearing in the head of the handpiece will be right on this front bearing on the flange there just should come out all together. You kind of want to look, make sure that what came out looks like our new turbine so you know there's nothing left behind. Set that old one aside. Um, look in there, there's no parts of the o-ring left. Use your cotton swab and actually there you can see that part of that bearing was left in there so that's good. You want to make sure you get that out. Clean it up. Um, if you have to, you can use some handpiece lubricant or some rubbing alcohol. Don't use any solvents, nothing like WD-40 anything like that, that'll damage the bearings if there's even a trace amount left behind. So once that head is clean, you can set that aside, then we'll move to the end cap. There's an o-ring here seated in a groove, and it, uh, this is, happens to be green because this was one of our turbines in there previously. It could be blue if it's still from the factory. Either way, take that out, set it aside, and once again, clean this up. You can even use your air syringe a little bit if you want to blow any debris out looking pretty good. There, so then you can open up the new turbine. And we always send the, the traditions, there'll be the blue o-ring on the flange of the bearing like that. If it comes off in shipping or anything, you'll want to make sure to just put it on. Uh, you know, if it's off like that, you just put it over here, seat it right over that bearing up against the flange of the front bearing. Then you'll take the green o-ring, that's the one for the end cap, set it on the can on the end cap, start with one end and put it into that groove. Use your explorer or your finger. Either one works on the end cap. Work that into there. Should seat in there fully. Shouldn't be any part of that old o-ring left behind. Um, and then once you have that, usually on the tradition you can hold it by the burr here. Go ahead and use a gentle rocking motion. You don't want to put side pressure on that rear bearing much, but should just seat easily right onto the end cap, spin it, make sure everything is free and spinning properly. Then take the handpiece, put this into the head, start this, make sure there's no cross threading. Go ahead and snug it down finger tight. Then take your wrench, tighten it just snug, you know it's not even an eighth of a turn, just a little bit after the fact. Um, take the burr, make sure it spins with your fingers, pretty free, it should just move with no resistance. And if all that does, then you're ready to hook it up to your coupler here, airline, and give it a test run. Should take off like new like that and sound good. If not, um, if there's any resistance, anything, there could be something left behind. It's pretty rare. Uh, but you don't want to force anything if it doesn't run quite right. Try the process again, look to see if there's anything left behind. If you have any problems, you can always call us, and we're happy to walk you through it, troubleshoot it. Our phone number is 1-800-950-9431. Thank you for watching.